Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dalia, Assistant Professor, Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute. Welcome to the video lecture on Temporal Databases. A temporal database is a database with built-in support for handling data involving time. Usual non-temporal databases store information only about the current state. For example, in an employee database, if the address or salary of a particular person changes, the database gets updated. The old value is no longer there. However, for many applications, it is important to maintain the past values and the time at which the data was updated. That is, the knowledge of evolution is required. So that is where temporal databases are useful. It stores information about the past, present and future. Any data that is time dependent is called the temporal data and these are stored in temporal databases. For example, in healthcare system, the time a particular patient was given a vaccination or treatment needs to be maintained. Similarly, in insurance systems and reservation systems, time plays a key role. So now there are two different aspects of time in temporal databases. First one is the valid time, which is the time period during which a fact is true with respect to the real world. And the second is the transaction time, which is the time generated by the system when a particular fact is stored in the database. So temporal databases have temporal relations where each tuple has either valid time or transaction time or both associated with it. If the relation has only one aspect of time, then it is called the unitemporal relation. And if it has both aspects of time associated, then it is called the bitemporal relation. So now let's see an example of a person, John, who was born on April 3rd in 1992 in Chennai. His father registered his birth only after three days, that is on April 6th in 1992. He did his entire schooling and college in Chennai. Later, he found a job and shifted to Mumbai on June 21st, 2015. But he registered his new address only on Jan 10th of 2016. So using a non-temporal database, John's address is entered as Chennai from 1992. When he registers his new address in 2016, the database gets updated and the address field now shows as Mumbai. Once this gets updated, it may be difficult to find out exactly when he was living in Chennai and when he moved to Mumbai. So to make this a temporal database, we'll be adding the time aspect also to the database. First, let's add the valid time, which is the time for which a fact is true in real world. In this example, John was born on 3rd April 1992. Even though his father registered his birth three days later, the valid time entry would be 3rd April of 1992. There are two entries for the valid time, the valid start time and the valid end time. So in this case, 3rd April 1992 is the valid start time. Since we do not know the end time, we add it as infinity. Similarly, John changes his address to Mumbai on 10th Jan 2016, but he has been living in Mumbai from 21st June of the previous year. So his valid time entry would be 21 June 2015. The table will look something like this with two additional entries. Next, we will see a bitemporal database which includes both the valid time and transaction time. Transaction time records the date or time where the database entry is actually made. So now the database will have four additional entries, the valid from, valid till, transaction entered and transaction superseded. First, when John's father records his birth, the valid start time would be 3rd April, his actual birth date, but the transaction entered time would be 6th April 1992. 
Similarly, when John registers his change of address in Mumbai, a new entry is made. The valid from time in this is 21st June 2015, the actual date from which he started living in Mumbai, whereas the transaction entered time would be 10th Jan 2016. We do not know how long he will be living in Mumbai, so the transaction end time and the valid end time would be infinity. At the same time, the original entry is updated. The valid till and the transaction superseded time is entered. So now the database looks something like this. The main advantages of this bitemporal relations is that it provides both historical and rollback information. You can get the result for a query on John's history like where did John live in the year 2001 with the valid time entry. The transaction time entry is important to get the rollback information. The popular products that use temporal databases include Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server and IBM DB2. With this I end this session. I hope it was useful. Thank you.